Alright guys, so let's have a look at balancing a more complex example, a more advanced one. Um, Alright, so we've got our rule. Our rule is that we only change the number of the coefficients, we don't touch the um, subscripts. The subscripts are, for example, when we've got a hydrogen molecule, we never touch this number because that would change the, the molecule itself, it would turn it into something different, but we can put coefficients out the front. They're usually whole numbers. Um, we can deal with fractions if we want, but it's just a pain. So we'd rather multiply up and not have to deal with fractions. All right, so our steps are balance the metals. Um, then we balance the non-metals. And then we balance the hydrogens. And we finally balance the oxygens. These are the simple steps. They're so easy. It's just a process. There is nothing magical about balancing equations. It is a simple process that if you practice it enough, you'll get used to it, just step by step by step, every time. All right, so let's have a look at our example. Here we have iron sulfate. Um, so we've got two ions, three sulfates, all sorts of craps going on. We've got potassium hydroxide. So iron sulfate plus potassium hydroxide, they're both in solution, aqueous, aqueous, goes to potassium sulfate, also in solution, says aqueous right there, plus iron hydroxide. That is a solid. Iron hydroxide precipitates out of solution, um, and it looks super gross. All right, so there's our, our order. Metals, non-metals, hydrogen, oxygen. Okay, so we set up our quick little table of reactants and products. Left-hand side is another way to call this. Um, I would rather you use the proper terminology, such as products, but it's up to you. Um, and this one here is right-hand side, as long as you get those sorted and if you start working on equilibrium reactions it makes sense to call it left hand side and right hand side but where we can call it reactants and products for today so um, basically we have two ions one potassium three sulfurs now you see that we've gone into the unit here so a lot of people think that you, if you've got a, a radical or a um, not a radical a polyatomic ion you don't break it apart when you're balancing you do you break it apart um, and it still works. So that's how we do it. Um, okay, so we've got three oxygens, sorry, three sulfurs, 13 oxygens, one hydrogen. That's on our reactant side. On our product side, we've only got one iron, two potassiums, one sulfur, seven oxygens, but we've got the only one we actually have more. I oh know there's more potassium as well. And we've got more hydrogens at three. So our first step is our metals. Now we've got two metals. Um, so let's balance our ions first. Um, so here we have, and that was, it doesn't matter. You can do the ions, the metals in either way. Uh, it's just how we've done it. Um, okay, so here we balance them. We've gone up because we, we multiply, we don't divide. We've gone up to two ions. So we've now got two ions, sweet as. Well, that means we've got 10 oxygens because um, there's three oxygens there. And we've times that by two, so that gives us six. And we've got four over here, that's 10. So that math is cool. Um, three hydrogens, which now times two, gives us six. So that's throwing it out a bit more, but don't stress. Let's balance the potassiums while we're at it. Here we go, two potassiums. So we're, we're now sorted there. That moves this up to 14 oxygens. By the way, 14 is easier to deal with than 13. Um, and a two hydrogens. Okay, so that's our metals. They're balanced now. The next step is our non-metals. And for us, that's sulfur. Um, so if we put a three at the front here, we've now got three sulfurs um, and three sulfurs but we see we've got a problem it's changed our um, oxygens and that's fine but the problem we've got the problem we've got is it's also changed our number of potassiums okay that doesn't mean you've made a mistake what you have to do now is go back through the order. so we've gone one two there's been a change now not an error a change so we've got to go back to the metals start again but we don't need to change iron, iron's fine, so we now change the potassiums, which means we put a six out the front here. Okay, so we've got six potassiums there, three times two, that's six, we're all good. We're now up to 18 oxygens, six hydrogen, what? It's done, that's it. So if you follow that process, you get there, and that's pretty cool. And by pretty cool, we mean balanced so 
that's probably the most complex example you're going to see in a high school setting and maybe even a first year in organic chemistry. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. And we'll see you next time.